hey, I'm Mike, and I'm gonna to talk to you guys about elastic graph. But I'll show you guys an elastic graph as well, just for me to make some um, comparison with it. But um, an example for uh, elastic will be, for example, salt, right? As human, our demand for salt is so high that if they raise the price of salt, let us say about three or four dollars, we will still need salt. So we will we'll buy salt. Salt, you cannot substitute anything on the market for salt. If you don't put salt in your food, then your food's tasteless. Or if you don't need salt for, you can use salt for different things. So you need salt, right? So I'm gonna show you the uh, graph for that right here. So you just draw a regular graph. And this is your quality and price, as you all know. I'm gonna draw the graph here. Price one is here. Price one, one, price one. So to better understand this is if I draw price two. So price two is coming right here. And so as you can see, as price decreases, the, the quality increases, okay? So that's all you can know. If you look at this, it, that's simple explanation for an elastic graph. For uh, the inelastic, it's almost similar, but let's just say you have an inelastic like this, right? Just a little different. draw your elastic like this this is price well d price one price two you see the space here You see this, the difference between this graph and this graph? This is elastic, and this is inelastic because of, you see the space as price goes down, the quality doesn't change by much. Thank you for watching.